Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do Digital YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be comparing Trello with Notion and I'm going to let you guys know which productivity app I think you guys should be using in 2021. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. So a little bit of background, I've been using Trello for the last 18 months and to be honest, I loved using the platform. Granted, it was for work purposes, so it was really just leveraging the workflow functionality, which is what Trello obviously is famous for, but I really didn't think about the limitations. That is until I started using Notion. So I actually saw a bunch of YouTube videos of big YouTubers like Ali Abdal and Sarah Dietschy using Notion, and I thought, how great is the software that everyone is just raving about it? And I must say that I am a complete convert because now I can totally see the limitations of Trello having used something like Notion. That being said, I'm totally not bashing Trello. I think it's brilliant for a simple workflow, but Notion really has a lot more functionality. So I am by no means a productivity whiz and even the word Kanban had me asking what on earth does this even mean? You too? Well, Kanban is actually a way of mapping out a workflow with columns and boards in it, and it's pretty much as simplistic as putting post-it notes on a wall. So it's basically a categorization of the different kinds of tasks and all the tasks that sit underneath that, and then you move them along the board as you complete the task. So simple enough, right? So that is the Kanban functionality that Trello is really useful for. So apart from Kanban, which is known as a board uh, view or the calendar view which Trello offers, there's not a whole lot more functionality within Trello. So the other things that you can do within the free version of Trello would be to add members. You can also add labels to things. So for example, if you want to alert someone that this is ready to edit and you don't want to put that as a column, you could actually have a tag, for example, it's called ready to edit if it was your YouTube flow. You can create a checklist, you can have a due date, you can attach something. And also what's great is you can make a template or watch a board. So in an organization, it would be great for limiting the amount of emails that get sent. And also I don't think you need to have a premium account to add members, which is a little bit different on Notion. So I stand corrected, but I think that that would be the benefit of sticking with Trello if that's what you guys currently use is that the team workflow you can use on the free version, whereas with Notion, you can only use with one member and have it be free. But where Notion kind of comes in is that it is so useful for so many more things. It's a lot more versatile and why I referenced Ali at the beginning of this video is because he actually has a video on how students can use Notion for note taking. So I can't imagine that a student would use Trello, for example, because as I said, it really is about managing a workflow not much further than that. Whereas something like Notion, it has this beautiful toggle tool that allows you to hide a lot of information underneath what looks like quite simplistic headings. And I mean, Ali, for example, is a medical student, so you can just imagine the kind of comprehensive notes that students of that discipline would be having to take. And so I think that's why it's really exploded is because there's so many other uses for it further than just managing a workflow. So other examples of how you would use it is to boost your productivity as a human, <laughs> accountability on your self-improvement. It's really cool for being able to track things like maybe recipes you want to cook or places you want to go, bucket lists. You can see on their community forum just how many different uses they actually are for Notion and I think that is obviously what's added to the excitement and I think also the ability to be able to add emojis and format the workspaces so that it actually looks like your very own Wikipedia. Like that was honestly one of my first impressions of using Notion is it is like creating a little Wikipedia. Everything is relational so it all links out to one another and it all kind of like fits together really beautifully. So if you have a personal workspace, you can have all of your stuff listed there, whether it's daily tasks or longer term goals, have everything sit beneath that. And when you click out to it, it's all sitting safely in its individual kind of compartment. And I think that is the challenge. And I think why we see people doing digital detoxes is we have so many apps on our phone that we end up taking notes and things like Evernote in the iOS kind of whatever you call that app, just note functionality that you have on an iPhone. And I think it's difficult to kind of bring that all together. 
you've got Word documents, Excel sheets, tables, and I think Notion, because everything's relating to one another, that's why it really feels like Wikipedia, because it's almost like this workspace where everything speaks to one another. So other examples of how you could use it is accountability tracking. So maybe for your fitness journey, I think it would be really helpful to be able to create a table and actually say, got my workout in today, burnt this many calories, you know, like I'm on track for my fitness goals. I also think it's a super handy tool for blogging or vlogging. So if you have a creative kind of side hustle or creative main job, <laughs> What is the opposite of a side hustle? Yeah, nine to five. Then I think Notion is great for that because it allows you to make checklists of things that you needing to research, things that you may be wanting to fact check. You can link out to various sources. So there's a great ways to hyperlink stuff. And so it's just like creating this like mood board meets Wikipedia <laughs> meets checklists of things that you need to do in order to complete a project. And I reference creative projects because I think there's always a lot of like moving parts and it's not always like a linear process. And so I think the ability to be able to work on something for two minutes, click out of it, work on something else, click out of it, and then have it all be saved and stored very neatly is just a game changer. So I would feel that Trello is probably too workplacey or professional feeling for you to really commit to it in terms of your personal productivity whereas notion it really does feel like it's your corner of the internet the one thing i did see on sarah dici's video about notion that i absolutely loved and i thought was so clever is she actually creates a page for people that are going to be guests on her podcast and then she doesn't have to repeat any of the instructions in mails or anything like that you can just provide the link to someone and say like check out these instructions of like how to get to my office or what to prep when you're being interviewed on my podcast. It's like, duh, how have we not thought about this before? But none of that stuff you would do on Trello. So I will link to Ali Abdel's videos down below. I will link Sarah Dietschy's video as well, because I think both of them go into different kind of use cases that are quite specific but i just wanted to give you guys my more general opinion and that is i really do think notion is the winner here unless as i say you have a simplistic professional workflow with other team members i think notion from a personal productivity perspective would be an absolute game changer and i've absolutely loved using it from a youtube standpoint so I'm just going to pop on my screen recording and share with you guys exactly how I've actually been using it myself. All right, so here we are actually in the video script for this video that we're filming now. My videos are not overly scripted, but I am trying to make them a lot more structured. So I've created a template for videos, which simply has an introduction, a main section, an outro and a description. And then underneath that, you can obviously populate exactly what needs to go on that specific YouTube video. But it's great in terms of being able to script on the go and there's also a Notion app on my phone so I'm able to kind of toggle between the two devices. So I'm still using the Kanban or the board view to storyboard all my different videos from idea, writing in progress, ready to film, filmed and then finally edited and uploaded. So I'm using it in the same way that I was using Trello, but if you click this little icon here, I've actually set up a bunch of different views just for illustrative purposes for this video. So there's actually also a calendar view, which I think is awesome. It allows you to very easily see what's upcoming. And if, for example, you were running your YouTube channel like a full-on business, you can keep track of things like sponsorship and when videos need to go live. And so it really does hold you accountable from that standpoint. Another alternative, apart from the calendar view is the timeline view, which I also think is nice because it gives you all the tasks on the left hand side and then allows you to pop it on this right hand side. And here I was showing my boyfriend Duncan how he should be using Notion because clearly I'm an advocate. So here I was just showing him if you made a line item like build a house, then you can literally drag and drop this anywhere and make it as long or short as you need to. So it could be like really long tasks. It doesn't just have to be these bite-sized tasks like I do with YouTube. It can actually be quite a big project. Then the other things I've been slowly trying to populate are the yearly goals, 
my travel plans, recipes, annual review, which is actually Ali's template, which I'll also link down below, which is really a beautiful like gratitude exercise, which allows you to take stock of your year and just kind of reflect on things that you want to improve in the new year, what you want to do better, things that you've learned. And I think it's really beautiful because I did do journaling last year, but I found it kind of difficult with a physical notebook just because I'm a millennial and sometimes I just like typing things on my phone. So I really am looking forward to giving journaling a bash on Notion. If you guys are interested in a video on that, please comment down below and let me know because I'd be only too happy to create a video, maybe 30 days of journaling on Notion and see how we go with that. And then reading list is also wonderful. The other template reference I have over here as it pertains to YouTube is Ali also had a YouTube template which I've just been referencing. I don't use it exactly as it's intended but I think it's really useful in terms of helping you. I think my favorite part of his template was actually the fact that he uses a framework called Hives which it kind of encourages you to have your hook, your intro, your value and then your end screen sales pitch. So I can only assume that it's brought a whole lot of value to the YouTubers who I love and admire as lives. And so I'm going to be giving it a bash for January and I will keep you guys posted. I would love to hear if you've used Notion before, if you're keen to try it out. And yeah, I just think this is definitely going to be a year of holding ourselves accountable. I don't think that the worst is behind us, sadly. I think the world is in a difficult state, but I think I'm all about controlling what is in my immediate surrounds and it feels like Notion is a great way of doing that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me so much. You guys have no idea. I'm almost to 2000 subscribers and I owe it all to you guys for all the support and love that you've shown me over the last two plus years. So until next time, I cannot wait to see you guys in our next video so that we can continue to do digital better. I can help you out I can help you out I can help you out